You probably know of Kegel exercises, voluntary pelvic floor contractions developed to prevent urinary incontinence and organ prolapse. What you don't know is that throughout history, a select group of women have mastered these muscles to perform a wide array of insanely pleasurable techniques during sex, some of which include milking, squeezing, tilting, locking, and twisting. From a sacred practice in southern India to the structured vaginal workouts of today, in this video we're going to uncover the secret art of pompoir. Pompoir, also known as cabaza, the Singapore grip, or the crab in parts of Latin America, is the art of mastering your pelvic floor muscles to create a variety of uniquely pleasurable techniques. Students of the practice train the different regions of the pubococcygeus muscle, the main muscle surrounding the vaginal canal, and master different types of movement through varying degrees of speed, intensity, and duration. As you can imagine, male partners of Pompoir students report intense levels of orgasm and sex satisfaction. But these moves aren't just pleasurable for the receiver. In fact, pelvic floor training has shown time and time again to be extremely beneficial for the woman performing it. The three main benefits the practice has are heightened female pleasure during penetration, increased intensity of the female orgasm, and a natural boost to the female libido. Let's go through each one. Heightened pleasure. Even though not their main purpose, basic kegels have been used to increase female pleasure by strengthening the pelvic floor. This is because a weak pelvic floor can, amongst other issues, cause loss of sensation in the vagina. This condition can happen in response to pregnancy, labor, obesity, and health-related loss of estrogen. As we age, our bodies produce less elastin and collagen. This leads some women to consider invasive and unregulated treatments that claim to increase the production of these proteins, such as over-the-counter tightening creams, pills, or laser therapies. However, there's another layer we can actually work on if we want to promote our pelvic floor strength and elasticity. The muscle layer. As women strengthen their vaginal muscles, they hide the sensation of penetration, whether it comes from a penis, a couple of fingers, or a toy. Moreover, Pompoir works through focused movements. This means that students are taught how to isolate, identify, and move different regions of the muscle, which in turn increases their awareness and sensations when they're being stimulated. Increased orgasm. As we start to orgasm, a series of involuntary contractions begin to happen in the vagina. These rhythmic contraction waveforms represent muscular exertion. The stronger these pelvic floor muscles are, the stronger these contractions get, and the more intensely we experience orgasms. As anecdotal evidence, students of our step-by-step -step Pompoir course report not only experiencing orgasms more intensely, but more frequently. We'll speak about libido next, but for now know that the practice of Pompoir seems to speed up the female orgasm journey, which means that the loop of arousal, racing heart, oxytocin release, and the peak of orgasm contractions happens faster and more often during the same sexual encounter. Increased libido. Because sex drive has so many psychological components to it, it's hard for researchers to determine why exactly pelvic floor training is correlated with an increased libido. But we can probably venture out and say that perhaps women experiencing more sexual satisfaction and a higher frequency and intensity of orgasms as a result of this training leads them to want to have sex more often. But there seems to be another component to this. A lot of women report feeling aroused as they practice pompoir exercises through the week outside of the sexual act. This could be the result of a conditioned response. As you're training these movements, you might be thinking of how you'll use them in bed with your partner, and that might get you excited. But we believe there's a physiological component to it. As we mentioned before, these exercises generally focus on moving specific regions of the vaginal canal, some of which are where the G-spot might be found in many students. So actively pulsing, squeezing, and contracting through the different erogenous zones of the vagina can be very pleasurable and stimulating on its own. Which is why we always advise students of the practice to set aside 10 minutes after their workouts for a little me time if they're feeling it. Because pompoir workouts themselves can really get you going. 
Alright, so who can do pompoir? Technically speaking, anyone who has a vagina and a vulva can achieve every single pompoir technique, no matter their age, how many kids they've had, etc. But the reason we say technically is because just like we disclosed at the beginning of the video, we are not doctors and this is not intended as medical advice. Some women have what is called a hypertonic pelvic floor, which means that the muscles down there are already too tight and training them even further could be quite harmful. So we recommend you speak with your doctor before you begin any form of pelvic floor training to see if it's appropriate for you. Specifically, a urogynecologist would be the best fit for this. The PERFECT test is a method by which these health professionals can most accurately assess pelvic floor muscles. We also have a pelvic floor health guide on our blog packed with tips from professionals on how to perform these exercises in a way that supports your overall health. Now, how does pompoir work? This is going to get a little technical, so bear with us. If we look at the female pelvic anatomy from the side, this is your bladder, this is your vagina and your uterus, and this is your rectum. And this string of muscles holding everything in place are the pelvic floor muscles. Now, if we take a closer look at these muscles from the top, we can see the main muscle group here called the levator ani. This muscle contracts involuntarily and rhythmically when we experience an orgasm. And the stronger this muscle is, the stronger these contractions are, and, you guessed it, the stronger the orgasms. Yes! 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 One part of the levator ani is the pubococcygeus or the PC muscle. And this is the main muscle we'll be working on when practicing pompoir. Your pelvic floor muscles can be trained, just like you train your biceps, your glutes, or your back. Just like other muscles, they have fast twitch fibers and slow twitch fibers, and different combinations of training philosophies will achieve different results. For example, by training mobility, you'll be able to contract your vagina through its full range of motion, slowing down on the eccentric and creating the smooth milking technique. By training isolations, you'll learn how to independently squeeze and pulse each side of your vaginal canal, which in turn will allow you to tilt, twist, and even ring, which is quite literally twisting the top to one side and twisting the bottom to the other. This is very much gaining the black belt of vaginal karate. And as a final example, if you're training for speed, you'll be able to rhythmically flutter and suck with your vagina in the midst of passion for those final moments right before the peak of orgasm. By now, you might be thinking to yourself, great, I get that I can learn all these awesome moves with my vagina, but how long will it take till I become a full-on vaginal Olympic gymnast, squeezing and twisting my way through life? Cue the answer nobody wants to hear. It depends. This is the worst! <laughs> if you're already familiar with pelvic floor training, like simple Kegels, you'll likely have a baseline of strength in your pelvic floor, so it will be easier for you to transition into more complex moves. Generally speaking, moves that involve what we call the horizontal plane of the vaginal canal, like milking, contracting and sucking, are going to be the easiest to perform first. Then, you'll transition into the sagittal plane and learn how to isolate the lateral walls of your vagina to squeeze, whip, and tilt. And finally, as you master the frontal plane and are able to isolate the front and back walls and master concepts like speed, rhythm, and power, you'll be on your way to the more advanced moves like twisting, rippling, locking, and ringing. Overall, if you're diligent with your training and follow our recommendations for adequate rest and pelvic floor stretching, you should get a grasp for most of the moves after just three months and then continue improving upon them after that. Okay, we've covered a lot so far, but I want to give you one last gift to get you started on your sex goddess path right away. Our free guide on pompoir. Go to goddess.com, that's goddess with an H after the O, slash free guide to get a free PDF that will teach you some beginner moves that you can start performing today. We also go through some proper breathing principles, how to structure your program, and how to speed up your results if you're going through a strength plateau. So goddess.com slash free guide. A good way to begin structuring your training is to set aside 20 minutes of your day. It can be first thing in the morning, some students do it at the gym when they finish their workouts, a sort of like a cool-down phase, or right before you go to bed at night. Of those 20 minutes, 
15 minutes should be spent training and 5 minutes should be spent relaxing your pelvic floor and performing some stretches. Generally, our students train Monday through Fridays, but if you're just starting out, three times per week should be more than enough to start seeing some results. Pick two exercises. You can find these on the free guide. I also have some on our blog, and I even wrote a few guest posts for Mystery Vive on their blog. Make sure to align your breathing like the guide suggests and aim to perform the workout cycles in at least two positions. It can be laying down on the floor, on your knees, on all fours, etc. It's a smart idea to pick the positions that you generally adopt during sex. And finally, whenever you're ready to transition into more advanced moves like all the ones we mentioned before, we'd love to have you join our program at goddess.com. All right, guys, that's it for today. God, I've learned a lot of life lessons along the way. We hope you had a wonderful day and make sure you subscribe and stick around because we're going to be releasing a lot more videos like this one on how to start performing these moves. We'll evaluate the science behind this training and we'll also want to talk about the history behind Pompoir. There was actually a royal who, rumor has it, knew how to perform these moves. So stay tuned.